so welcome to the today's lecture it's a very first lecture about thermal power plant so thermal power plant is very important if we talk about the india's power system or we can say the power installed capacity but to know more about the thermal power plant we first understand what are the different components of the thermal power plant what are the different uh, categories of uh, you know instruments which are there and before that why we should go for thermal power plant okay so first of all if we talk about the thermal power plant then it's like a conversion mechanism you can say i hope i am audible to you all properly just type yes in the chat box so that i can understand i hope i am audible properly right okay so now if you talk about the thermal power plant as you see it's a very huge structure and it is used for generating electricity now the main source of power or we can say the energy in the thermal power plant is that the from the chemical energy which is stored in the form of coal or a fossil fuel now if you talk about the coal and fossil fuels that means the heat is involved so you agree that if the coal or any chemical fuel if we are burning it and then definitely heat is going to produce and how efficiently we are going to manage that heat and how efficiently we are going to convert that heat into electricity that is what we are going to learn today how the thermal power plant works what are the advantages disadvantages how the thermal power plant is uh, having its components what are the different equipments how the functions uh, which are you know done by these equipments and different types of components those components are there those, those components are also having their subtypes say for example if we are having a boiler as a part or a component of a thermal power plant then boiler also has different varieties of types okay so which type of boiler is useful for us which type of boiler is suitable for us these all things we are going to learn okay then we are also going to learn about the very critical and uh, we can say the equipments which are improving the efficiency of a boiler so those are called as a super heaters economizers reheaters air preheaters and other many components of thermal power plant now as you know that burning of a fossil fuel or burning of a chemical or you can say the coal most prominently it is going to lead to generate what one definitely that is a heat but second thing which is that particular burning process is generating is called as a smoke or a flue gases so smoke and a flue gases are basically uh, exhausted into the atmosphere and if atmosphere is getting polluted then it is not going to helpful for us and for that purpose this particular thermal power plant should have the mechanism by which it will be uh, reducing or it will be controlling the amount of flue gases or we can say the amount of adverse effect of these flue gases or a smoke on the atmosphere now as you know that we have seen first part that is burning of fossil fuel and generating heat converting that heat into electricity but apart from that we also seen that smoke and flue gases are generated and then we want to go into the next problem or next point that is called as a generation of ash say for example after burning the coal one thing which is releasing which is helpful for us is a heat but second one that is smoke or a flue gas is not helpful for us and third thing which is coming up that is called as a ash and also ash has a two types one is called as a wet ash and one is called as a fly ash so these two ash jo component hai ye dono component hame aaj seekhna hai kis tarah se hum isko हैंडल करते हैं किस तरह से इसका डिस्पोज करते हैं और ये सारी चीजें आपको थर्मल पावर प्लांट से रिलेटेड है ओके नाउ समटाइम्स यू ऑब्जर्व दैट देर आर सम डीजल जनरेटर प्लांट्स और वी कैन से द डीजी सेट दो डीजी सेट्स आर लिमिटेड विद द नंबर ऑफ पावर और वी कैन से द नंबर ऑफ किलो वोल्ट एम्पियर रेटिंग सो केवीए रेटिंग ऑफ अ ट्रांसफॉर्मर which is associated with the generating station is also different 
and if we talk about the transformer then if transformer is different big capacity then the generator will also has a different capacity different features so one feature which you, we can say about the generator is that as generator is a electrical machine so electrical machine is going to generate electricity by using the prime mover uh, we call it as a prime mover because it is rotating the electrical generator so once that particular generator is being rotated then it is converting electricity but during that process maybe that generator is experiencing the heating process or there is a internal heat which is produced inside the generator now we have to cool that second there will be a very high amount of voltages which are leading to the which are leading to the insulation problem so we need an insulation in our generator so ye point aapko samajh mein aaya generator ke bare mein so these all the points we are going to cover in today's lecture okay so abhi hum log baat karte hain hamare very first point ki that whenever we are installing this thermal power plant okay whenever we are installing this thermal power plant you know that there are some locations where we can say that thermal power plant can be installed easily or it will be efficient or it will be having a more advantages so we have to select the site we have to select the site due to which you can get a more efficient operation of a thermal power plant so now i am asking you one question be ready in the chat box if i want to invest my money and install a thermal power plant what will be the probable location you think those locations will be suitable for thermal power plant or if you want to select a site for a thermal power plant what exactly you are looking forward just type the answer in the chat box okay so if we talk about the thermal power plant we can install the thermal power plant when where we can get the most prominent fuel that is our coal so if you are getting the coal in a very abundant quantity then we can say that this place is very useful for our thermal power plant so that is a very first point second point as you say that it is a working on converting the water into steam so we require a large amount of water maybe it is required for the cooling purpose or maybe it is required for the purpose of converting it into the steam so we require a large amount of water then there should be a ample amount of space or we can say that ample amount of arrangement for our ash disposal so if you are able to get some space or some mechanism by which we are going to dispose of the ash which is generated then definitely this particular space will be helpful for us then if we are installing such a huge plant then we are not uh, in a position to just say ki hamare paas itni hi jagah hai or it may not be a shortage of available land so space requirement is much more and the land should be having in a good quantity so that we will be having the expansion plants in our mind so that we can do that so that is the third or we can say the fourth requirement then most important requirement is that whenever a thermal power plant is being installed the huge amount of machinery has to be taken from the machine manufacturer location to the thermal power plant location say for example how many of you know about the big machinery manufacturing companies like siemens abb right bhel uh, bhel bhel and crompton grues right so these are the one of the major companies who, which are manufacturing the equipments which are required in thermal power plant apart from this uh, also kirloskar or the companies which who are <coughs> manufacturing uh, pumps and motors <coughs> different pipe piping mechanism okay then some storage tank mechanism these all equipments are needed in a thermal power plant so most important thing we want is that the transportation facility so transportation facility is related with your raw material related with your machinery and then most important is that it is related with your 
manpower so if you are having a residential area which is away from the thermal power plant then it's very must that a company who is installing or who is uh, constructing this thermal power plant should have a residential colony okay where people can stay and people will be easily transported to the thermal power plant location okay so this is how we are going to going to the next level that is what another things which are required okay so next thing which we can say that if this kind of power plant is using coal as a raw material and they are burning the coal then there is a chances that this smoke and this flue gases will be dangerous for the human beings if the human being is surrounded by the power plant 24 by 7 and for that purpose the power plant location should be away from the populated area or we can say the densely populated area jitna kam jagah pe log reh rahe hain uske aaju baaju mein utna acha hai because of which the people who are living nearby thermal power plant may not experience any kind of uh, fatality or unke jaan ko koi bhi jokhim nahi hoga okay yahan tak clear hai sabko i hope so just type yes in the chat box so that we can go ahead now as you say aapke mind mein ek sawal aayega and that question is sir agar humne populated area se dur thermal power plant install kiya to humne jo इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बनाया है या थर्मल पावर प्लांट ने इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेट किया है तो उसे खरीदेगा कौन हु इज गोइंग टू बाय अवर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी कैन कीप अनदर पॉइंट इन अवर माइंड दैट द थर्मल पावर स्टेशन शुड बी नियर टू द लोड सेंटर एंड इफ द थर्मल पावर प्लांट इज नियर टू द लोड सेंटर देन इट विल बी क्रिएटिंग अ गुड अमाउंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल सक्सेस और यू कैन से फाइनेंशियल प्रॉफिट आई होप यहाँ तक सभी को क्लियर हो गया है अभी हम लोग देखते हैं इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द थर्मल पावर प्लांट इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल द थर्मल पावर प्लांट वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एडवांटेजेस ओवर द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ पावर प्लांट सो बिफोर गोइंग टू दैट वॉट आर द डिफरेंट अदर टाइप्स ऑफ पावर प्लांट यू नो जस्ट टाइप इट इन द चैट बॉक्स सो एज वी कैन सी द अदर टाइप्स ऑफ पावर प्लांट आर येस हाइड्रो पावर प्लांट nuclear power plant diesel power plant yes then also we have a uh, gas generator gas turbine power plant then we have some non conventional power plants like solar power plant wind power plant then we have biomass methanol tidal power plant right so these all are the different or hybrid power station yes so these all are the different types of power generating plants but if we are comparing these all and then we are trying to decide whether we should install a thermal power plant or not then we can say that mm -hmm. the thermal power plant has some advantages mm -hmm. so what are those advantages so first of all if we talk about the initial cost okay so if we are talking about the initial cost then we can say that the thermal power plant has a less amount of requirement of initial cost if we are comparing it with the hydro power plant agar hum hydro power plant ke sath usko compare karte hain to hame pata chalega ki hydro power plant ko install karne ke liye we required to install a dam and to install a dam we required to relocate the people who will be coming under the water catchment area now that particular cost is tremendously high with compared to the installation of thermal power plant so we can say this is a very first advantage second uh, if we talk about again comparison with the hydro power plant because most of the people think hydro power plant is very cost effective plant usme kuch paisa nahi hai barish aata hai dam fill hota hai reservoir mein pani bhar jata hai देन नीचे आके वो ऑटोमेटिकली ग्रेविटी से आपका जनरेटर चलता है बट वो डैम वहां पे ऊपर इंस्टॉल करने के लिए वो डैम वहां पे कंस्ट्रक्ट करने के लिए बहुत सारा एक्सपेंसेस, बहुत सारा टाइम एनर्जी इफोर्ट्स आपको क्या करना होता है इन्वेस्ट करना होता है और उसके कंपैरिजन में जो एनर्जी मिलती है 
it is though it looks like a free or we can say very less costly but it involves a cost during the initial time now agar hum uske space ki requirement ko dekhte hain say for example a hydro power station has a space requirement for its dam or we can call it as a reservoir then pen stoke those are the pipes which are coming down and the turbine and dg set and the generator set and then the tail rest where the water is going out from the hydro plant ye sare jagah ko agar humne calculate kiya the amount of space which is required by a hydro power station is way much larger than comparing it with the coal or we can say the thermal power plant so ek advantage kya hai thermal power plant ka ki hydro power station ke comparison mein ise kam jagah lagti hai it requires a less space as compared to the hydro power station now going to the next advantage i would like to say that the fuel cost okay the fuel cost which is required that is for a coal and if you are comparing it with the uh, say for example the coal uh, coal has a cost some x amount of cost per kilograms or per 100 kg then that particular cost is basically reduced or we can say it is basically way back uh, it is very cheap if you are comparing it with the cost of the gas power plant to so gas power plant ka main fuel hai aapka gas gas ke bina wo plant chalega nahi so definitely you required to uh, use a natural gas or a gas which is useful for the gas turbine but to procure that gas you required to spend a large amount of money okay and for that purpose we can say the cost which is involved in the coal a uh, fuel or a thermal power plant is very much less than comparing it with the gas power station now apart from this we also one advantage that thermal power plant we can install anywhere maybe yes we require the space which is near to the uh, coal mines we require a space near to the river or a sea but yes we can install the thermal power plant anywhere because we can transport the coal okay so if the load center is nearby we can transport the coal by any means like from the roadways or we can transport it by the uh, sea ways okay uh, so koi bhi tarike se hum coal ko transport kar sakte hain and after doing that transportation we can burn that coal and generate the electricity now moving to the next is that if we consider all the space we consider all the equipments we consider all the devices which are involved and the fuel quantity we consider ye sare consideration karne ke bawajood bhi hamara jo thermal power plant hai wo bahut jyada aapko power generate karke de sakta hai a small unit from 100 megawatt of power to maximum unit which is installed nowadays is of uh, 800 or 850 megawatt uh, installation in india okay so yahan tak sabko clear hai so whatever you have learned today just type those points in the chat box so that i can understand what are the points you have remember okay go ahead why so many less response itna hi padhaya maine aapko ya baki log ko typing karna nahi aa raha hai 46 students hai minimum 46 reply chahiye mujhe okay aage badhte hain <coughs> डिसएडवांटेज अभी थर्मल पावर प्लांट के डिसएडवांटेज के बारे में अगर बात करेंगे तो सबसे पहला डिसएडवांटेज आपको क्या लगता है ए वेरी वेरी फर्स्ट दैट एवरी टाइम वी हैव टू बर्न द फ्यूल एवरी टाइम वी हैव टू बर्न द फ्यूल इट मींस एवरी टाइम वी हैव टू स्पेंड फॉर द कोल कोल के लिए हर बार खर्चा करना पड़ेगा आपको राइट सो कोल के लिए अगर खर्चा करना है एंड उसके ऊपर आपका इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोडक्शन अगर डिपेंडेंट है तो इसका मतलब ये है कि आपके थर्मल पावर प्लांट का रनिंग कॉस्ट रनिंग कॉस्ट जो होता है वो बहुत ज्यादा है सेम अगर एग्जांपल लेंगे आप तो आपके पास एक व्हीकल है जो एक लीटर पेट्रोल में समझो 100 किलोमीटर जाती है और एक दूसरी व्हीकल है जो एक लीटर पेट्रोल में समझो 
ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर जाती है तो ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर जाने वाली जो व्हीकल है डेफिनेटली इट्स रनिंग कॉस्ट इज हाई तो आपको हंड्रेड किलोमीटर जाने के लिए वो दूसरे टाइप के व्हीकल में फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज का पेट्रोल जो है वो फील करना पड़ेगा या फाइव लीटर का जो पेट्रोल है वो फील करना पड़ेगा ओके सो आई होप यहाँ तक सभी को क्लियर है पॉइंट आगे बढ़ते हैं अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस कॉस्ट अगेन एक मेजर कॉस्ट है जो इन्वॉल्व है and that cost is of your health and your nature. तो nature को ये बहुत ज्यादा damage करता है and it has a costly uh, in terms of the uh, pollution which is created. जो thermal power plant pollution create करता है वो pollution काफी ज्यादा quantity में create करता है and because of that you can say that the thermal power plant is having this kind of disadvantage where the smoke, flue gases, ash this kind of all type of uh, you know pollution is created and that's why we have to take care of the thermal power plant now the equipments are so huge as you seen here equipments are so huge they are very complicated like uh, fuel air supply turbine condenser a uh, feed water pump then make up water pump warm water pump cooling tower cold water electric generator these all are the equipments which are there which are very much costly from the maintenance point of view agar maintenance karne jaye hum ye uh, equipments ka so it becomes very much costly okay so this is a another disadvantage you can say now if you talk about the boiler turbine uh, then again pumps and the control room operations it is very much needed that the people should have a proper knowledge proper skills so that they can work in a thermal power plant koi bhi normal wireman koi bhi normal uh, engineer electrician supervisor thermal power plant mein kaam jaake turant nahi kar sakta kyunki ye plant mein bahut sare complexity involved hai aap me se koi bhi thermal power plant mein kaam karta hai ya kar chuka hai just type yes in the chat box तो आपको पता होगा कि जैसे ही आपका अपॉइंटमेंट हो जाता है आपको पहले काफी रिगरस छ महीने का एक साल का ट्रेनिंग दिया जाता है ताकि आपको थर्मल पावर प्लांट के बारे में आपको जो काम करना है उसके बारे में पता चले क्यों क्योंकि अगर उस पर्टिकुलर एक्टिविटी में कोई भी स्मॉल मिस्टेक होता है अगर कोई भी एक पंप समझो बंद हो गया और उसको आपको मेंटेन करना है और आप अगर मेंटेन नहीं कर पा रहे टाइम पे तो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वन स्मॉल सिंगल पंप आपका पूरा प्लांट जो है वो शटडाउन हो सकता है अभी यहाँ पे मजे की बात ऐसी है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स में बहुत सारे ऐसे क्रिटिकल पंप्स होते हैं ऐसे इक्विपमेंट्स होते हैं उनके स्टैंड बाय इक्विपमेंट भी होते हैं तो व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वर्ड स्टैंड बाय इक्विपमेंट मतलब एक काम करने वाला जो डिवाइस है या इक्विपमेंट है उसके जैसा दूसरा एक और इक्विपमेंट वहां पे ऑलरेडी तैयार रहता है तो अगर एक के ऊपर आप मेंटेनेंस का काम करेंगे तो दूसरा दूसरा आपका प्लांट का लोड जो है वो संभाल सकता है ओके okay, यहां तक सबको क्लियर है जस्ट टाइप यस इन द चैट बॉक्स एवरीवन। आई वांट एवरीवन टू बी रिप्लाइंग इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके सो आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू आर रियली लिस्निंग और वॉट यू आर डूंग ओके गुड सो अभी हमारे पास एक डायग्राम है यहाँ पे विच इज वेरी प्रोमिनेंटली नोन एज अ schematic diagram schematic diagram of the power plant okay so this diagram you must draw in your notebook uh, abhi aap aisa mat socho ki hamari exam online hai ya theoretical hai aapko likhne ka practice to karna hi hai okay so first of all you have to write down the first homework question that is advantages and disadvantages of the thermal power plant second you have to write down the questions answer that is a choice of site how we are going to select the site for the thermal power plant and third homework question is that draw the diagram of schematic diagram of thermal power plant jo bhi abhi main aapke samne uh, screen share kar raha hu okay to ye sare question ke answer aapko aapke notebook mein likhna hai and yes you all are attending this you are attentive to so, abhi main aapko ye pura jo schematic diagram hai wo main explain karta hu अभी यहाँ पे आपको अगर ये दिख नहीं रहा है तो यू कैन जूम इट इन योर मोबाइल मोबाइल को आप हॉरिजॉन्टल uh, करके भी ये पूरे डायग्राम को हॉरिजॉन्टली अच्छे से देख सकते हो इवन विद यूजिंग योर टू फिंगर्स यू कैन जूम इन टू लर्न अबाउट इट मोर डिटेलली तो आगे बढ़ते हैं हम लोग ओके सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस 
another three important disadvantages three disadvantages of thermal power plant the one is that the starting time required is so much high matlab agar aapne thermal power plant ko galti se band kar diya aur aapko agar lagta hai ki hame aur ek bar usko chalu karna hai to wo aise aapne jaise button dabaya aur upar ka fan chalu ho gaya aise nahi hota hai isko chalu hone mein minimum 6 se 8 ghanta lagta hai in the cold condition okay abhi pura aapka jo प्लांट है उसको पहले ठंडा भी करना पड़ता है मतलब बंद करने के बाद भी तुरंत बंद नहीं होता है उसको कोल्ड uh, मतलब कोल्ड कंडीशन में लेके आना पड़ता है आफ्टर दैट व्हेन द प्लांट इज नॉट वर्किंग कंडीशन उसका जो जनरेटर है टरबाइन है उसको एक स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ हीट या स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ स्टीम प्रोवाइड करके उसको रनिंग कंडीशन में रखा जाता है कभी <coughs> भी जनरेटर को या टर्बाइन को ऐसा स्टॉप कंडीशन में हम नहीं रख सकते जैसे अभी हमारे पास समझो फैन है तो वो फैन को हम क्या कर सकते हैं बंद होने के बाद उसको रोक के वैसे ही रखेंगे ओके बट टर्बाइन एंड जनरेटर जो है आपके थर्मल पावर प्लांट का उसे आपको टर्निंग गेयर उसको बोलते हैं टर्निंग गेयर पे उसको रखना ही होता है जिसकी वजह से आपके शाफ्ट का डिफॉर्मेशन ना हो ओके शाफ्ट का डिफॉर्मेशन मतलब क्या अगर आपने वो काफी लंबा बहुत सारे टर्न का जो शाफ्ट है से फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इज अ शाफ्ट ऑफ अ टर्बाइन एंड जनरेटर असेंबली तो जैसे ही इसका खुद का ही वेट बहुत सारे टर्नों का है 100 टन 200 टन जो भी है तो वो उसके वेट से क्या हो जाएगा बेंड हो जाएगा ओके okay? उसको बोलते हैं डिफॉर्मेशन और वो डिफॉर्मेशन ना हो इसके लिए उसको हमेशा रोलिंग या रोटेटिंग करके रखते है ओके okay? तो ये बहुत सारे कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज में इन्वॉल्व है तो हमने जैसे डिसएडवांटेज देखा सबसे पहला डिसएडवांटेज देखा रनिंग कॉस्ट इज हाई सेकंड डिसएडवांटेज देखा इट पॉल्यूट्स एटमॉस्फेयर वेरी व्हाट डू यू से ड्रास्टिकली देन वी आल्सो सीन दैट मेंटेनेंस कॉस्ट इज वेरी हाई देन वी हैव सीन दैट वी रिक्वायर्ड अ वेरी स्किल्ड मैन पावर एंड देन वी हैव सीन दैट द स्टार्टिंग टाइम इज वेरी हाई सो वी मस्ट हैव टू स्टार्ट दिस थर्मल पावर प्लांट 6 टू 8 आवर्स प्रायर to our requirement okay then if we talk about the efficiency now ye jo trans uh, ye jo aapka thermal power plant hai it works on the principle of rankine cycle ye word aap aapke notebook mein note karke rakhiye rankine cycle pe ye kaam karta hai aur iska jo overall thermal efficiency jo rehta hai it's very 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 low matlab agar aapne 100 rupaye kharcha kiya aapko 30 rupaye ka sirf saman bahar milega matlab अगर आपने 100 किलोग्राम का किलोग्राम एनर्जी को अगर से उसका यूनिट है मेरे ख्याल से उसका यूनिट है किलोवैट पर केजी ऐसा कुछ यूनिट है उसका मैं आपको बताता हूँ उसके बारे में भी तो कितने किलोवैट कितने केजी में बनेगा मतलब एक किलो अगर हमने वन केजी ऑफ कोल इफ वी बर्न तो हाउ मच किलो एनर्जी वी आर गोइंग टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट तो वो जो उसका रेशियो है वो सिर्फ थर्टी के आसपास है ट्वेंटी से थर्टी मतलब ये सबसे आ, हम बोल सकते हैं ना आ, ऐसे कुछ एम्प्लॉयज रहते हैं कामचोर एम्प्लॉयज वैसे टाइप का ये प्लांट है बहुत ज्यादा लॉसेस है इसके अंदर कैसे लॉसेस है कहाँ पे लॉसेस होते हैं ये सारी चीजें हम देखने वाले हैं ठीक है सो आई होप यहाँ तक सभी को क्लियर है ओके सो वी हैव सीन द वेरी फर्स्ट थ्री टॉप टू टॉपिक्स ऑफ अवर सिलेबस थर्मल पावर प्लांट हाउ इट वर्क वॉट आर द एडवांटेजेस डिसएडवांटेजेस एंड वेयर वी कैन लोकेट द थर्मल पावर प्लांट okay so this is uh, this is it for the first lecture okay so we are stopping here for our first lecture yahan tak sabko samajh mein aaya